I also start using PPID as um, the official term for this disease, even though um, we've always called it Cushing's, and all of our owners, of course, know it as Cushing's disease. So starting off, I wanted to show you just actually the slide that I show when I give this presentation to horse owners. Um, and, and in addition to kind of talking about Cushing's disease tonight and how we can go about diagnosing and treating it, I also want to give you guys some tidbits of how I help um, talk to owners about this because it, it is a really complicated disease. We certainly don't know everything that's going on with it. Um, and it can be really confusing for horse, for horse owners to understand, especially now that we're starting to get the overlap between Cushing's disease and equine metabolic syndrome, which is becoming much more prevalent, um, not only in actually happening, but in our owner's awareness. So, you know, I try to explain to them that, you know, using this diagram that everything starts kind of up in the brain with this hyperplastic pituitary gland secreting ACTH, and that excessive production um, of cortisol by the adrenal gland is in response to the ACTH. And, and oftentimes owners are, are knowledgeable about what cortisol is, and, and I try to kind of explain some of the syndromes and symptoms that we see um, as a result of the cortisol or the kind of high stress hormone. I try to tell them, you know, maybe imagine that your horse is really stressed all the t time, even if it's um, an old pony living in a field having a wonderful life. So sometimes that's helpful, even though I think when you really look at the newer research, it might not be entirely true. It may not all be cortisol's fault. Um, but that's kind of a way I try to explain it to people to show them this kind of feedback pattern. If they get a basic understanding of the disease and how the disease is working, I think it helps them also understand the testing and why the testing isn't perfect or why we may need to do more than one test in order to make a diagnosis. 